Uh, my name is Stan Brown. I'm the director of maintenance at Haverfield Aviation for International Incorporated. Uh, I've been currently employed here for 18 years. A lot of my uh, background started in the United States Marine Corps, working on Hueys and Cobras. And it's at that point uh, I became aware of the old Chadwick 192 Alpha uh, vibra vibration analyzer. I was back in those days where I kind of uh, was intrigued by the idea of troubleshooting aircraft by the use of vibration analysis. You know, it's like, hey, I have a, a, an anomaly or a spike at 6,600 RPM. Well, on the Huey, uh, it's either oil cooler blowers or the main drive shaft that's spinning at 6,600. So to be able to identify and pinpoint vibrations or frequencies to be able to help troubleshoot and diagnose uh, an aircraft or to better maintain an aircraft, uh, removing the frequencies by having everything in balance or replacing those bearings early, slows down metal fatigue, increases aircraft longevity, and of course, early or premature failure of uh, bearings, components, uh, drive lines, uh, et cetera. That dream is something that I've had for a long time. Looking at the market, there really wasn't a whole lot of things that were readily available out there. Um, there were a few things the military had that had been incorporated into their aircraft over the years. Looking at uh, the civilian world, there really wasn't a whole lot of uh, options out there that I thought met the criteria that uh, I was looking for. Uh, about 2017, I believe, we purchased a Blackhawk with uh, from Arista Enterprises, and Arista had been partnered with uh, RMCI. So this aircraft had the new uh, latest and greatest uh, XRDS system installed. And the question was, do we want to keep it installed and pay the extra for the uh, equipment to leave it in, or do we want it removed prior to us taking uh, control of that aircraft after the purchase? Um, it's at that time where I uh, met Ken and Lance um, from RMCI, and, and we had some pretty in-depth conversations on it, and it really became a no-brainer that, hey, the additional cost to have this vibration analysis system installed in this aircraft, it, it needs to stay in, and we definitely want to learn and grow from it. Um, that started with our Blackhawk. We've since incorporated it into a BK-117, and we also have it in our 500 fleet as well. It's allowed us to have a lot of opportunities to really be inside the aircraft and machine and know the internal workings and provide a safer platform for our pilots. Moving forward, um, we want to continue to keep adding it to our fleet. It gives us a great opportunity to, like I said, fine tune 24 7. Um, we can main road or track and balance by just downloading and, and uh, working on. Uh, the data that we have collected during the day's operations and make adjustments to that main rotor smoothing, especially on the 500. Troubleshooting the aircraft, once again, uh, has been made easier just by uh, knowing what the frequencies are and be able to correlate them to an RPM and, and very well pinpoint what is actually your problem or what the system is picking up. The XRDS, you know, the expandable rotorcraft diagnostic system that RMCI has created, uh, is exactly that. It's like every other day we turn around, they have uh, a new aspect or, or a new program or some other added function that, that they've just developed. Um, they have continually mo continuously modified and stood behind this product. And their research and development uh, is phenomenal. They take information that you give them or requests you give them, and they work as hard as they can and do their diligence to um, make that a reality for you, to make this product what you're looking for. Um, and in all, uh, RMCI and XRDS uh, has met and exceeded the expectations and, and, and the dreams that I had been looking for for, for most of my aviation career. Uh, started back, like I said, back in the Marine Corps, with the old Chadwick and little colored pens there, but they have definitely fine-tuned with their Chrono software, uh, fine-tuned exactly what we're looking for, and the expandability of it is what makes it even more inviting to all. And I can't wait to see what the future brings. It's definitely something, if you're a safety-oriented or safety-leading company, that I highly recommend uh, you looking into this system because after you talk with Ken and Lance, 
uh, see what the capabilities are, it really becomes a no-brainer. It is the direction that the industry needs to go, and it'll help provide and bring home more people just because you do know what's going on a much higher level than maintaining to the uh, OEM specifications.